Hey there, YouTube fans, and welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chet. Previously on uh, vlog number 85, I uh, flew from my home base of High River for that short little hop over to Vulcan. It's about a 20-minute flight. And uh, now I'm going to show you what I'm looking at in Vulcan. Just looking, folks, just looking. But uh, the more I look, the more interested I'm getting. So uh, take a look, see what I've got to show you. folks walking from the aircraft over to the uh, terminal little terminal building here for Vulcan and there you can see Vulcan terminal the altitude is 3445 which is uh, 15 feet higher than uh, High River I believe I think High River is 3430 well this is the uh, Vulcan Airport small terminal building which is actually quite nice. It comes complete with a couple of bathrooms in there and uh, yeah, it's still even got the old uh, phone. <laughs> you, know, you don't see those around uh, too much anymore. So uh, yep this is it. So if you ever get weathered in uh, there's a nice couch out there. I think it's one of those ones that pops right open and uh, if you needed to uh, uh, sleep uh, for the night uh, there you go. Just take your sleeping bag. Got a little weather station in here, old radio, <laughs> and the wind, uh, look at that, it's from the northwest at uh, eight knots, not six knots, so there you go, five knots, so actually it's uh, it's quite good, <laughs> pretty neat. Here's a, a map. Just to give you an idea where we are, uh, this is uh, Calgary here, okay? Now as you go down, uh, down in here, this is High River, that's where I have my airplane at this point in time, and Vulcan is right over here. That's Vulcan. And then you've probably heard me talk about Nanton, and down, uh, down in Claire's home as well. And then as you go down a little bit further south out here, there's the 49th parallel, this is anything below here, that is the US of A. So you got uh, North Dakota, you got Montana, Idaho, and uh, so the mountains basically, there's, uh, let's stay, get up here again, there's Calgary again. Mountains start right there. These are all mountains, okay? And then you basically follow it all the way around. And you eventually end up in Vancouver and Vancouver Island, Victoria. So there you go. That There's the golf course, and just the other side of the golf course is the, uh, is the airport. So I've walked for 10 minutes, nice path to walk down, and I come across this, Whispering Creek Adult Community. So let's have well, a look. That looks to be the uh, clubhouse over there. Okay, so I'm just walking through the uh, area here now. And you'll notice there most of them are villas but at the other side there there is some uh, bungalows there <clears throat> and up ahead there you can see that they also have parking area for if you happen to have an rv bungalow house And uh, it's up for sale. So it's not a, a villa or you know like a duplex. This is strictly a bungalow. And backing onto uh, the extension of the golf course, uh, they've got some pretty big houses out here. So as you can see, there's the golf course. The uh, green's still covered up out here, some of it. And uh, there is the adult community. Well, adult, not all of it is adult. Some of it is, 
The homes I don't believe are, but uh, the villas, the ones I was looking at, uh, they are. So, and this is the main, you're still looking at the golf course, that's the extension of the golf course. And that's one of the roads that comes in. Way in the distance, I don't think you can see it, but that's, uh, the mountains are visible out here. And uh, then, of course, we got these old poplar trees out here. And uh, this is the golf course. So we're just going to walk back to the airport now. And so we have these uh, nice walking paths here. But, uh, and also, uh, if you look out here, uh, <laughs> they even have a tunnel out here. So uh, you can walk underneath the highway out here. I didn't see that before. So you can actually, uh, well, it's part of the golf course. So, and uh, yeah, actually, uh, we'll just walk down the green here and uh, head back to the airport. Uh, I've just been looking at the grass out here, and uh, lo and behold, look at this. There, green grass. So this brown stuff, in another couple of weeks, if the temperature stays this way, this golf course could be open. And again, there you are, the airport. What's kind of nice about it is, uh, <laughs> got all these nice pathways, courtesy of the uh, golf course, and uh, it takes you right to the airport. So we're just crossing the road here now, and uh, heading back towards the airport. And like I said, it's a 10 minute walk, and uh, I, I don't walk that fast, but uh, maximum 15 minutes from that subdivision. And if you get tired, there's a bench right there. Okay, there's a bench. So it's in memory of someone. So I'll just sit down out here and uh, just give you an idea what we're looking at here. Hangar here, house there. What do you think? Okay, and uh, here's the little terminal building again. Just the back end. I don't need to go in. Oh, yes, I do. I have to put in when I'm leaving. So, okay. Well, it's uh, creep. It's already 10 to 4. I've been here for three hours already. And uh, it's uh, <laughs> meeting so many people out here, learning lots about this area. So, okay, so uh, I guess we'll get in the airplane here after I get my key. There we go. Right keys. Okay, door is open. Get my coat back in there. There. Okay, folks, so uh, now you've had a look at uh, the uh, Vulcan Airport and the uh, home is just across the street along with a pretty nice looking golf course. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, head back to uh, High River, but uh, let's save that for the next vlog.